Hi, welcome back to Gray is Gorgeous. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm just doing a video update on after, what happened after I used the L'Oreal Magic Root Touch-Up Spray. All right, so does it wash out, like it says in the back, it says lasts one shampoo. Does it wash out in one shampoo? No, it does not. <laughs> So I washed my hair twice today, back to back in the shower, you know, once, twice, um, and it dried it, uh, doing that dried my hair out a little bit, so I had to put a little bit more conditioner into it, but this is what it looks like um, after I washed out the, um, the spray, and as you can see underneath, Here's my white, white here, because I didn't actually spray this part. Actually, yesterday I kind of did a halo effect. I just um, weaved it into the top, which is something you could do too. You don't even have to actually do the underneath if you don't want to. Um, so right now it kind of looks like my hair got had toner on it and kind of toned down the white a little bit. That's actually kind of what it looks like today. Um, one thing that was really interesting, and I did want to share this with you because I found it interesting, was, you know, there's not too many um, situations where you get to go from gray to a color back to gray again in a short span of time. But spraying my hair and having color on it and then now seeing it as it, as it washes down, um, I have to honestly say that I, it, the color made my skin not look so good. My skin wasn't looking as bright. It kind of was looking a little muddied, if that makes any sense, kind of sallow. And I actually didn't like it. I thought, wow, the gray hair actually makes my skin look brighter and more alive um, than having color in my hair. So I was like, that actually was really surprising to me. And um, maybe you feel that way as well. Although the spray didn't really take me like to a dark, brown or really chestnut brown color even though it didn't do that it still felt like I you know it still felt like I had some color on and it did make my skin appear very different I actually felt like I looked older to be honest with you and maybe that's because it meant it maybe made it look a little bit sallow um, so very interesting didn't did not expect um, that reaction to it but uh, but I do know that this is a temporary product so um, so it does wash out but it's going to be more than one to two washings I'm going to be thinking maybe maybe four or five um, but I I will let you know if I remember when I'm filming um, my next video to let you know how how it's going but anyway um, so the difference between a temporary color and a semi-permanent color or demi-permanent color and a permanent color um, is the any time you have a box colorant that contains two bottles, that's one bottle of colorant and one called the developer, any time you have a bottle that contains those two, you're talking about something that's a permanent color. Even if the product says it's semi-permanent or demi-permanent, you still have, it's still a permanent color. So it's not gonna wash out in 28 shampoos. For instance, like Natural Instincts, it says on the box it washes out in 28 shampoos. That's not true. Um, and here's why. Anytime you have a developer, you have peroxide, hydrogen peroxide, and or ammonia. Now, even if a box colorant says it doesn't contain ammonia, it still contains peroxide. Peroxide is the developing, um, the developer in the developer. It's what the developer is. And what hydrogen peroxide does to the hair shaft is it strips the hair shaft of its color. So with a demi-permanent and semi-permanent, I know I'm kind of using those two terms together. Um, most likely if you talk to your hairdresser, uh, they will tell you that it's called demi-permanent. 
but some box colorants on the outside does say semi-permanent. That's why I'm using those two together. So when you see a box color that says semi-permanent or demi-permanent, just know it's, it's still permanent. It just has a lower volume of peroxide. And what the peroxide does is it lifts the initial color off of your hair shaft and prepares the shaft for color. A permanent hair color, and this is to box color and permanent hair color, such as L'Oreal Preference, um, has a higher volume of peroxide, which means that it's going to lift more. So if you uh, are deciding whether to go semi-permanent or permanent, you're basically going permanent with the semi or demi-permanent. The difference is you're not going to have as much lift. You're going to have more depositing with the demi or semi-permanent than you are going to be with the permanent. So let me give you an example of this. This is good information to have. I know this is kind of not the right platform because my channel is going gray. So of course you're not going to color again, but um, maybe you can help somebody else out with it because it's good information to know and it's just um, information that I've um, that I have because I've colored my hair so so many times and of course my sister is a professional hairdresser so I've gotten information from her too and she taught me a lot about about the differences so here's an example if you buy a semi or demi permanent color such as the L'Oreal, uh, not L'Oreal, the Clairol Natural Instincts. Know that when you buy, um, like for example, a medium brown, that it's actually going to turn out dark brown. So let me say that again. When you buy a demi or semi-permanent color, such as L'Oreal Natural Instincts, if you want a medium brown and you want your hair to be medium brown what you what what's going to happen is you're going to actually get a dark brown so if you want a medium brown i would buy the light brown color you see what i'm saying it's going to bump you up one color okay and as far as it washing out in 28 shampoos, as I said earlier, it does not wash out in 28 shampoos. It washes down. It does not wash completely out. All right, let's move to the permanent color. So now let's talk about um, L'Oreal Preference. That's considered a permanent color or Garnier Fructis or one of those colors, okay? Now you have a higher volume of peroxide. What I have found by calling the company and talking to their representatives and what is I have found that the permanent colors has a tw approximately anywhere from a 25 to a 30 volume peroxide in it. Whereas the demi semi permanent color such as L'Oreal or not L'Oreal, I want to say L'Oreal, Clairol Natural Instincts has a probably maybe a 10 volume peroxide, maybe 15, 10 to 15. So you get double the peroxide in the permanent color, which means it's going to pull more color out of your hair shaft initially. And so it's going to lighten more before it deposits the color. So if you want it to do, if you wanted a nice deep brown, chestnut brown in a permanent color, I would go for one color up. So if you want that, don't pick the medium brown. Take the dark chestnut brown because the dark chestnut brown is then going to wash down to the medium brown that you want. So I hope that helps. Um, I know that information has helped me a lot and there's been times where I've been in a CVS and somebody was standing there going, which color should I do? And then, you know, I could help them pick <laughs> what, because they, the companies don't really tell you this. This is not knowledge that 
that you would have unless you've, and I'm sure a lot of you out there have done what I've done, colored your hair for many, many years, so you're very used to how it works. But that's actually the technical side of it. That's actually how it works and why it works that way. Um, but it's good information to have, who knows? Somebody might ask you one of these days, how should I go for the dark brown or the light brown? Well, you're going for a demi-permanent or semi-permanent. If you're going for a demi-permanent, um, take the, the light brown if you want a medium brown. If you're going with the permanent, take the, um, the, the dark brown if you want a medium brown, you know, because then you know that that's gonna wash down in a certain way. And so you may actually notice with the permanent colors that your hair washes down to a lighter color than it does with the demi or semi-permanent semi colors, which are the ones that I used to use prior to going gray because they because um, of the low, lower volume of peroxide, they depo it deposited more of that rich, deep brown. It would actually last longer than the permanent color. All right, so I will let you know um, how this goes. Um, I guess I can post it down in the description box below. That's what I'll do. So I'm doing this video now, letting you know that I still kind of looks like I have a little bit of the color left in my hair, but I'm sure it will all wash out. Now, if you have a temporary color like the spray, um, like the L'Oreal Root Touch Up in a normal range of colors, I'm not talking about the purple one that they have because L'Oreal has this other spray product that it comes in bright colors. I cannot speak for those. I do not know anything about those. I don't know that if you sprayed your hair with purple spray, if it would actually wash out, to be honest with you. I do not know. I don't know. Um, I am not familiar with the pigment in those color sprays. But these that come in normal colors, like the blonde range through the media, you know, light brown, medium brown, or dark brown. Um, the black one is going to be pretty dark, so, um, but it should, you know, so I don't know about the black either. The black might have a really strong pigment and it might not wash out. So just FYI on that, <laughs> just so you know. But I'm letting you know that this is the medium brown and, you know, it's washing out fine. Um, and I think I've used one of these in the dark brown and it washed out fine. Um, I'm not sure about the black. I'm sure the blondes and the lighter browns should work, should wash out just fine. Um, but you should know that uh, for sure. And I think I'll post that in my other video in the description box below. So just safe to say, I think it's probably going to take at least four or five washings for it to completely wash out here. But I do love my gray, and I don't intend on permanently coloring my hair. I just wanted to try it out and show you what it would look like if you got your hair weaved. That was actually my main intention on doing that video, just kind of show you if you're unhappy with your gray hair, you've grown it out, you kind of go, well, oh, it's not really what I like, you know. I wish it had a little bit more um, different colors in it, or maybe you're, you, yeah. Yeah, you just want to kind of make it look a little different. Maybe you're happy with the gray and you like the white coming through and it's kind of like a highlight, but you don't want it all white and you want kind of it dark in the back or whatever, then it's something you can do. But if you try if you try the spray at home and then it kind of gives you an idea of what that would actually look like, um, yeah. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. As always, click subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos, and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.